Hey, welcome to the first episode of Hey. I'm your host, Nathan Provost. This is basically just a version of Unscripted that has just me in it. And today, we're going to talk about names. Happy Fun Facts About Names Day, everybody. It is actually Celebrate Your Name Week for this entire week in this specific day just happens to be fun facts about names day it says celebrate names today by looking up interesting tidbits about names so i asked you guys on facebook uh to comment your names in the comments and uh, you guys gave me a few names so uh let me tell you what your name means and you know whatever it means maybe you could use that as like a, a legacy to for your future your life your fortune my first name that I got was Dylan, and Dylan means born from the ocean or son of the sea. So uh, I guess your legacy should be living on a yacht. My second name that I got was London, and that name means fortress of the moon. So you gotta go to the moon and you gotta live there. Third name that I got was John, a very common name, which means God is gracious or morseful. Mer merciful, 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 merciful. That means when you die, you're gonna live with God. So I guess your legacy is to die? That's not a very good message. I'm sorry to hear about that. Fourth name was Akshay. You have a very strange name, I'm very sorry to say, but luckily your name means name of a God. You are a God. Y your legacy is whatever you want, all right? You're a God. You that's it. Fifth name is Evan, which means young fighter. So you gotta be uh, uh, maybe a boxer, uh, a wrestler, a firefighter, I, I don't know, some sort of fighter. Our sixth name is Josh, and that just means God saves. Why is why is everything so religious with God and these names, man? Anyway, um, that means you get multiple chances in life. That means you may die, but you really won't die. You're a cat. <laughs> you are cat. You are a cat, Josh. And I need to let you know that because that means you have nine chances. You can die eight times, but then the ninth time you'll be dead, unfortunately. But that's more than everybody else, so you're all good. Our seventh name is Stevie, which literally just means uh, an abbreviation for Steven. And then Stephanie, it says just the female version of Steven. So, we are using our seventh name as Steven, which means crowned one. Stevie is a crowned one. Where crown, be it, move to England and be a part of the, uh, what do they call their government? Be a part of the royal family, Steven, S Stephanie, Stevie. And our final name, Edgar, means great spearsman. Use your spear and kill horrible people. Be a superhero, Edgar. I could see that. Edgar Man. It's a pretty cool Superman. Superhero name. Superman name. Now, I'm going to tell you guys five of the weirdest names ever. Now, these were actual, real names. I promise you. First name is Erheinz Kendall IC8 Special K. Uh, this baby was born February 15th, 2003. Second name is GoldenPalace.com Silverman, who was born May 19th, 2005. Third name is Joker Aroyo, and it doesn't really say where this guy was born, but in the picture he looks like an old man, so probably pretty long ago. Pretty long ago? Okay, this fourth name, I, I can't believe that's real. I literally cannot pronounce it. Let me just, let me spell it out. B-R-F-X-X-X-C-C-X-X-M-N-P-C-C-C-C-L-L-L-M-M-N-P-R-X-V-C-L-M-N-C-K-S-S-Q-L-B-B-1-1-1. You can't have numbers in your name. What does... His name's Kevin. Oh, it is a real name. The parents of the child wanted to protest against the naming law. So they named their kid with whatever, however you pronounce that. And our final name, KentuckyFriedCruelty.com. And not like the second name, which was, which actually was spelt out dot com, but actually a period com. 
like like a website. I bet Stevie would like this if Stevie was here right now. In 2005, Christopher, his original name, uh, a youth outreach worker for the people for PETA. Basically, everybody should know what that is. He agreed to change his name legally to KentuckyFriedCruelty.com to protest animal abuse by the food chain KFC. Yes, he actually really did legally change his name to KentuckyFriedCruelty.com to help save animals. And you should too. And he's even got a driver's license to prove it. it I may put it back here, uh, but if the green screen doesn't work because of the lighting situation, then I'll just put it here. And the last thing I was going to do is I was going to try to recall as many names of fans as I can. Uh, now I, I mean, I just started this show, so I don't know who's going to be a fan of this show. But, I'll, you know, past names from other shows. Uh, Seaman1512, Kareem Gardnerer, Popper Pooper, Team Avatar 112, Primeval DK, Gamer133, I'm not sure if that's his name now. He changes his name a lot. Big Brother 434 That's all I can think of right now. Don't be offended if I didn't think of your name. It's nothing personal. It's something personal about me. I have a bad memory. I don't memorize names. I don't, I don't look at your names in the comments and be like, oh, I gotta memorize that because I gotta remember the names for a sh show. That's all I have for you for the first episode of Hey. Make sure to look in the description for all my social networking uh, links, all my other channels, and all my sources that I used in this episode. Also, try to leave some feedback for the show. Try not to be too harsh about it. This is just the first episode. Uh, each episode is very different depending on what holiday it is, so... You know, maybe after the first three episodes, you can really, really give a good review uh, as to whether or not you like this show. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday.